I know one of uh, one of your great heroes is Barry McGuigan. Yeah. Um, he's just been boxer consultant for uh, the film that's just come out, The Boxer. Have you seen the film yet? No, I haven't seen it yet, no. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic film. I went to see it, uh, we were supposed to be going, Cher and I got invited to go and see a screening of it and we couldn't make it, so um, I went to see it this week and it is fantastic. It's a brilliant film, uh, well worth going actually if anyone's seen it. It's a great boss film, it's a great film about the troubles, it's a great love story, I thought obviously I don't care about that because I'm hard. Um, but, uh, but the fight scenes are really good actually, we've got a clip of the fight scenes actually, we thought we'd let you cast the boxer's eye over them here. This is the first fight that, I'll just set it up basically, what it is, is that Daniel Day-Lewis has uh, he's been banged up in the neck for 14 years um, as part of an IRA bomb and he comes out, renounces violence, tries to uh, resurrect the gym that he once trained and he sets it up as a deliberately non-sectarian gym and uh, to get a little bit of money for some kit for the lads, he has a one-off benefit fight against uh, another boxer, funnily enough, here's a clip from it. I'm looking forward to seeing the film. Yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, he looked the part. He yeah, was, yeah, because because Barry trained him up for that actually, and I was uh, I was very impressed by the boxing scenes actually. I thought the best I've seen since Raging Bull actually. Um, they're certainly better than Rocky. Yeah, when you can actually see them missed by miles and then the head going back <laughs> like that. A bit more realistic. Exactly. Um, so in that film, he, he he starts off, he resurrects the gym for the kids and everything, and you started boxing when you were seven. Yes, yeah, right. Now, what was your inspiration for starting boxing? Um, I just, you know, I love the sport. Obviously, it was like seeing Barry. I, I knew, I think the only two fighters I knew then were Barry McGuigan and Frank Bruno, and yeah. I used to watch them on telly and stuff, you know. And I thought, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a bit of me. I fancy a bit yeah. of that. Because it was in your family as well. Wasn't yeah, it? my yeah. family. Yeah, my my dad done it, my uncle, and my yeah. brothers. So you know, it's just all like mm. come down. So where generations. where did you? I mean, so you grew up in Barnet. Mm -hmm. Where what gym did you go to around there? Who was the there's kind of gym? Big... There's a gym in Barnet, yeah. Finchley Amateur Boxing Club. Yeah. Um, and that's the gym that I used, yeah. and I still use it now. Now, obviously, it's like, when you get to your age now and everything, and you're a boxer, you know, like, if you go out in a pub and someone picks you, you know you don't get in a fight and everything. But mm -hmm. I've often thought, when people start boxing at the age of seven and everything, it's not really tempting if you're in the playground, right? <laughs> and someone gives Slim you a better lip. Just to did, you, did you get into a lot of fights as a result of the boxing, or did it actually work the opposite way? No, it worked okay. the opposite way with me. Yeah. yeah, it was like, I never had any trouble at school or anything. I don't think I even had any fights at school. Yeah. And the same in the pubs and stuff, you yeah. know, I've never really had to work the opposite way. Yeah. And you're not the only famous person that come out of your school, because uh, they were telling me that uh, Emma Bunton, Baby Spice, mm -hmm. was at school with you as well? Yeah, she never went to my school, oh, right. she was friends of, friends of the family. Yeah. My dad was best man at her mum yeah. and dad's wedding and yeah. stuff, so they're just friends of the family, yeah. Did you ever, never a romantic involvement? No, 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 no romance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you got to say, I was actually going to say it in a much ruder way, actually, but then I thought not. It's actually, talking about sex, um, now, you, subject. you actually give up sex three or four, I've read this, three or four weeks before a fight, right? yeah. like a lot of boxers do and everything. Why do they do, why do you do that? I don't know, it's just the thing to do, you know, it's what we've always yeah. done, so. I mean, I can see how, I mean, I, I would have thought it would, it would, having sex would keep you fit, or maybe I just put more into it than other men. No, I think but, it's, you know, it drains you, it's like, you don't yeah. feel like training or throwing any punches after that, you know, <laughs> you just want to go to sleep, so, <laughs> you know, it's just like. I have to kick her out, she has to move back to her mum's three weeks before the fight, so yeah. just in case I do get a bit broody. Yeah, you know, how does your wife feel about that, actually? Um, yeah, she's all right about it. At first, yeah. she was a bit, because like, she was never been involved with a boxer or anything like that, yeah. she was a bit, what's all this about? But yeah. uh, she's all right about it now. Yep. Yeah, she's pretty cool about it. Now, this, this is a very, very rude question to ask, but again, sorry, it's one of these things, I know I've always wondered it, and I'm sure people at home wonder it, if you can't have sex, right, you don't, are you, is there any form of relief goes on? Nothing it's just, at all, nothing. You don't release nothing. that essential chi in no, any way? No, right. nothing. 
God, I can see why you nearly kill people when you get into the <laughs> ring. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> so would I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was, uh, definitely not. Definitely yeah. not. Who was, who was your big boxing hero? I mean, we've mentioned McGuigan as well, was it? Yeah, uh, in, in Marvin America? Agler was, yeah. yeah, when I started to get to know fighters, Mar yeah. Marvin Agler was my man, yeah. yeah. One of my, my favourite boxing stories is about Marvin Hyler. When he had the, the fight against uh, Tommy Hitman Hearns, when he'd mm -hmm. done a four-round murder, fight. that was one of the Three greatest rounds, fights yeah. of all time. But evidently, when uh, if you remember, like he got a, he had two cuts in the third round, That's right. and the referee comes over him, and he's got blood on his face, the referee says, um, can you see, can you see? And he says, well, I'm hitting him, haven't I? And that was that. Um, <laughs> Love and he went and banged him out after that. Was that. It, yeah. yeah, a hell of a fight up. What did you like about Marvin Hagler? Because he was a guy, he retired and that was it, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's right. So I respect him for that. And yeah. I just loved his style. You know, he's an exciting fighter to watch. Yeah. He loved the way he came forward. He switched all the time. And mm. he was just a great fighter to watch. Yeah. Why is it that you want to get out early? Is it because of the dangers of the sport? Yeah, definitely. You know, like I said, I don't want to be talking to the lamppost. And I yeah. think if I'm in the game another seven, eight yeah. years, it's like... Something's got to happen, isn't it? It's yeah. not, you know, it's not natural for people to be banging you near all the time. Yeah. So I just want to make my money and get out and get into something else. And you've got an 18-month-old uh, son, Ken. Mm -hmm. When he was born, did that, did that make you think, oh, I, you know, I definitely, you know, want to get out, you know, for his sake as early as I can mm -hmm. as well? No, no. Has it made no, you, has it's it made you way, more? It's the way I've always thought, you know. Yeah. It's like, you know, I know it's not healthy. I've seen other fighters before mm -hmm. and it's, um, I know it's not an healthy sport, but yeah. I love the sport and I love doing sure. it. I, otherwise, yeah. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. I know the risks involved, but um, no, it was I just, just the way I think. It's like I don't want to be in the game too long. It's yeah. a tough business. Because of course, I mean, President Azim, of course, recently had a child as well. And uh, do you think? I mean, is that going to change him at all? Do you think maybe that's that that we're going to see that creeping in? He might think, oh, I'll get out. Of Hope so. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Would you want Kane to be a boxer? Um, no, no. If he didn't have to, I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't mind if he wanted to do it. But yeah. you know, I would never force him into it. Definitely not. Yeah. 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 Now, uh, just before I say, we're just about to run out of time, but just before we do, we've got to show this photo. This is a great photograph. Uh, this is a photograph you've done. It's a tribute to the, the famous Muhammad Ali shot, where uh, he went into a bank vault in America and he posed with a million dollars. Now, that's a budget. That's not a million quid there, is it? No, it's not. That's about three grand there. How, how come it wasn't a million? Um, and where's the, the rest bank was, vault? The rest was done on, on computer, actually. That box right. that I'm sitting in has been turned into yeah. a million quid. Yeah. So the banks, the banks wouldn't have it. None of the banks would have it. No. No, like my manager Jess, he yeah. was he went to I think you know, every bank, yeah. every top bank and none of them would have it. Yeah. So That's terrible. Shame. You don't trust anyone, do you? Don't they? trust no one. I don't know. The um, why and uh, the final question, it's one of my favourite names, Spencer the Omen Oliver. Uh -huh. It's a fantastic one. Why the Omen? And when how old were you? When did you decide on the Omen and why the Omen? When I teamed up with Jez, yeah. he had it in his mind, I think, you know, yeah. all the time. He thought it went well with a name and uh you know, he just thought it was great publicity stuff. Yeah. You know, people to remember. They, everyone, like, when I see people in the street and stuff, it's not like, oh, there's Spencer or there's Oliver. It's yeah. like, there's the omen. <laughs> it sticks <laughs> in the cool. mind, you know what I'm saying? So that's good. That's, that's, great. that's brilliant. Well, listen, we wish you all the best in May on the uh, fourth, def fourth defence now. Fourth defence, May the 2nd. Yeah, we wish you all the best. Now, hopefully at the Albert Hall. Hopefully, yeah, yeah touch wood. Yeah. Nothing's concrete, but, yeah. yeah. That'd be great. Anyway, thanks for coming. Nice to meet you, Spencer. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Cheers mate. Cheers, Dominic. Now,